Hi Earth Signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Welcome to your weekly energy reading for January 6th through the 12th. This is Mary in the Celio Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome returning. Thank you so much for coming back. So this is for Earth, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We're going to take a quick look here for the week ahead on love, life, and advice for you and see what we have. So welcome, welcome everybody. I hope everybody's doing well. Hope you all had a great Christmas. Happy New Year. So we're going to take a look here, see what's going on for you in love, January 6th through the 12th. Keep in mind, these may just be messages that need to come out now that you may need to hear at this time. Uh, doesn't mean every single thing here may come to fruition in the coming week. So, you know, only take what resonates, throw away what doesn't. And you can have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Jupiter, Venus, those placements. All right, so let's get one of these for you, Earth Signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. See what's going on for you in the Love Department, 6th through the 12th, or at this time, for the Earth Signs. So we have Forgiveness, 29, which is 11. Forgiveness, nothing can be gained by holding on to past disappointments. So something may needing, maybe needing forgiveness in the Love Department here. Um, in this coming week or whenever here and then we have practice compassion to see things from a different perspective 15 is six and six is about going into a more healing balancing place and with the 92 as 11 and 11 usually means you're on the right path the right spiritual path going in the right direction um, but then that's two and that is about unity two is about people coming together and unity of some form so something needs forgiveness and compassion uh in the love department for you earth signs so let's get a couple of these for your life area see what's going on in life for you at this time for the coming weeks six through the 12th if you're interested in what decks i'm using they are listed below in the description box as well as tons of stuff there all the earth signs individual individual playlists are down there how to reach out for personal reading decks i'm using social media links if you'd like to tip or donate send a gift tons of stuff down there so let's get here we have the phoenix so are we rising like the phoenix here and on the bottom of the deck we have crocodile so i'm probably going to read um a little bit about those a little bit here let me pull a couple of these for you this will be your advice 6 through the 12 for the earth signs what's your advice for the week ahead 6 through the 12th for the earth signs thank you to everybody for all your support that you've uh, given me whether you've just subscribed or tip donated reached out for personal reading um it's truly truly appreciated send a gift truly truly do appreciate it so thank you thank you so we have progression the wallaby 22 so two again is about unity people coming together add together that together that's four and four is about stability foundation and then at the bottom here we have loyalty dog 73 which is 10 tens are usually about an ending but then there's always a new beginning so being loyal to some sort of progression here so we have practice compassion and we have forgiveness in the love so maybe uh needing to be a little more uh compassionate with your lover your person being a little more forgiving or vice versa however that means for you so let's get some clarification here for you earth signs six through the twelfth Earth signs, if you're not, if you're new or just watching, if you do like my style, how I read, I offer a lot of readings. You can check out my channel, like what you see, see, feel free to like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. I love to read the comments. Um, and uh, don't forget to hit the bell so you don't miss out. Okay. And if you do, thank you. So let's see what's going on here. So we got the 10 of coins and the fool. In the nine of cups so so this may be a marriage or a long-term commitment here with the ten of coins the fool though is like starting over starting fresh um you know maybe uh practice of being more loving compassionate 
energy with one another, being more forgiving with one another. You'll have like a fresh start in your connection. Definitely could be a marriage or a long-term commitment. Uh, nine is about, uh, you know, wishes and dreams coming true. Uh, happiness and joy, the nine of cups. But then you got the world, which can be about ending cycles or starting new cycles. And then you got the page of swords, which can be about uh, open, honest, truthful communication, maybe spying on each other kind of energy. And then you get the Knight of Swords, which is, which is like rushing in. So the Knight of Swords can be like a reckless, uh, rebelish kind of energy. Like you don't really think. It could be a lot of um, like attacking or going at each other all the time. You know, and maybe, you know, this Page of Swords can be kind of an immature energy. Like just being a little too honest with one another and like jabbing at each other. I mean, I do see here uh, like chapters closing out in a new, if, if this is something that ended, if it's um, a re long-term relationship or a mar marriage that is ending or has ended, um, I know you got to try to stop that nagging at each other of bickering or fighting with one another so that you can just move forward independently and be in a more um, forgiven healing kind of energy if this is a long-term commitment or a marriage where yes there's love you got the nine of cups there it's wish fulfillment and love but there tends to be a little bit of bickering or jabbing at each other all the time you can end that cycle and like stop fresh start new have a restart by just being more compassionate with one another loving caring nurturing giving and forgiving you know towards one another i think you can kind of overcome like this i'm getting like petty energy and have like a fresh start the world is about a new start and closing things out no longer serving and then the fool is a new start but you get the ten ten of coins there definitely can be a uh, long-term commitment or a marriage here and then you get the nine of cups so some may, nines are usually a single energy so some people may be coming single or this is uh changing the energy of this relationship so it can be more of a loving uh fulfilling energy more like you both envision or dream or wish of so i want to read here um we got the crocodile and we got the phoenix the phoenix is fire i'm um, not going over any signs because this is just a quick check-in so um i'm not going to go over the signs just the energy so the phoenix here is the last card in the deck this card here rebirth resurrection immortality and hope so you know you can have a rebirth and, and then you get the ace of cups right underneath so this is pertaining to life so if you are married or a long-term commitment i feel like this is also part of your life something you may be going through that you can have this rebirth resurrection of this hope this love this life there's still hope faith optimism because you have the ace of cups which is like a brand new beginning in love if some of you are going solo, uh, this could be, you know, spiritual love, self-love, nurturing yourself. And then you've got crocodile energy there, which I believe is water. So let's see. Power, te tenacity, and protection for the crocodile energy. Um, the crocodile card suggests that it's time to marshal your forces how can you protect yourself? So it's about protecting yourself. So maybe you're being, you know, a little too protective, defensive, on guard um, with people. And maybe that's why, you know, maybe kind of snappy like a crocodile. And maybe what, that's why your love situation over here is like this page of swords and knight of swords kind of energy. But you do have the ace of cups here. So there definitely is love. If this you're solo going solo it, like i said it could be spiritual love uh self-love the emperor yeah so i feel in the empress wow so this is definitely uh soulmate counterparts here with the emperor and the empress and you may both be like um bullheaded and <laughs> both very domineering and both like to be in charge um kind of energy so you got the nine of coins the eight of swords in the seven of cups so wow so and the nine of coins again can be that single independent uh secure stable energy eight of swords so mental entrapment seven of cups feeling confused 
conflicted. Um, I think you need to master, some of you need to master self-love, self-worth, and value. Spiritual uh, love also. So we got two cards here for Emperor and Empress. So like I said, some of you could be single now or just became single. But you have mental blockages and confusion about love, about soulmate energy, about, you know, soulmates in general, you know, being in a relationship. I think some of you just rather be single. Um, I think being in a relationship or with a soulmate just brings you too much like confusion and mental blockages. So you may just be in this energy of, um, you know, rising like the Phoenix and I'm just going to do me self love self, you know, care and uh, spiritual energy. So that crocodile energy, I just feel like maybe some of you are kind of snappy or this could be, you know, somebody you're dealing with, not necessarily you. All right, so over here we got the Wallaby progression. And then 22 4 is about stability, your basis and foundation, and then dog loyalty. So let's see what this is about. And this is your um, advice. So we got the Two of Swords, the Knight of Wands, and the Four of Swords. So uh, the Two of Swords is being indecisive. The Knight of Wands is, you know, moving forward, a lot of drive, passion, and ambition. But then the Four of Swords is kind of like taking a rest and a break, recuperating, uh, contemplating. So you got two like energies here that are very conflicting because the Knight of Wands is that fiery, passionate go-getter that the Four of Swords is like recuperating, re retreating, and taking a rest and indecisive energy. So it's like uh, like a mix, mixed bag here, like feeling like all over the place maybe. And then we have judgment. So needing to make a decision about something. And then you get Two of Swords about needing to make a decision. And then the moon. So not sure how to do, not sure how to make this decision. It's like you want to make it, you start to make it, you, you kind of know where you want to go, what you want to do, but then you kind of withdraw it and you're like, gee, I don't know. And you're not quite sure with the moon energy. Can't see it quick, uh, clearly. And then you got the seven of wands of being defensive and on guard. So I think it's uh, your advice here is to um, slowly but surely here progression you know, just slow and steady wins the race, uh, really trying to grow and expand a slow progression here, being loyal, you know, loyal to your friends, your family, who you truly are. Um, but if there's some sort of decision here you need to make, you're not quite clear on how to do it. It's like you, you're mixed, you're like back and forth. I think your energy is all over the place about this. You could be very loyal to those around you and, um, it's confusing you be, because you're not taking time for you and what you need to do. So it's a slow, slow and steady progression here. I'm needing to make a decision about something, but yet, yet this defense, defensive on guard energy, maybe you just need to stand up to people and defend yourself, you know, instead of being over loyalty, over loyal to people and doing everything for everybody, you know, slow, steady progression here of maybe standing up saying no. And making that decision to say no, because the Knight of Wands can be like on the go, 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 and then you got to rest on the go, 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 got to rest. And not seeing clearly how to make a decision here on what to do moving forward. But I think you need to like stand your ground. Uh, people, places, things around you. Let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. So we have the High Priestess, like you know what to do. You know what to do. Justice, balance, equal give and take. Truthful communication, no apologies, maybe sorry, you know, may cause conflict, but hey, I'm sorry. Uh, queen of Queens, I need to care and nurture for myself, take care of myself, and this is that earth energy with uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. May cause conflict, but hey, I'm sorry, I need to do what's moral just right for me, and you, you know what to do with the High Priestess energy here. Okay, hope that made sense for you, Earth Signs. So thank you so much for stopping by and watching, and good luck to you, sending you many light, love, and blessings, and as I always say, with my channel is to always, always shine your light.